Hey, don't push from there. Get to the back. Get to the back. Oh. I think he doesn't take the losses lightly. Yeah, he's very heavy-handed. But I think he deeply cares about the plight that these people suffer. Shay and James, we were in arguments all the time, early on. But even in the contentiousness, there wasn't a lack of respect. I think it was about who was just going to lead. You do what you want. I'm heading west. I said east. I don't give a shit what you said. Shay and James just had different ways of looking at it. James, he doesn't care about anybody else but his family. And I don't think that's the case with Shay. I think he cares equally about everybody. And particularly in this case, it was this immigrant woman with two sons who'd lost her husband. I think she's scared for herself, but more so it's a primal fear, the fear of a mother who doesn't know how she's gonna take care of her children. I can be a wife for you. I don't want a wife. Stop. Quit. When Shay turns her down, I think she's shocked. Whereas Tomas, he teaches her some things. I don't know if anyone's done before for her. She's been dependent on their men and her family. I think she feels protected in, this, in a way that she's never felt before. She was bound and determined to mete out some sort of justice. <laughs> I mean, it's always fun to have some action. What the fuck for that? This is what the fuck. <laughs> The immigrants can't be stealing from each other. It's chaos, so this is what's going to happen. Everyone needs to gather around to see the tone that's being set here, because we're going to do this once, we're not going to do it again. What motivated that scene was Shay's detest for thieves. If you steal, you will stay where you stole. It was a fun scene. Hopefully, that's the last we see of an uprising, but that's probably not. Sound speed. Am I being quiet? Well, you are being quiet, now you're talking. The scene where we shot the deer, it's pretty moving for me. I have three daughters, so I've never had that experience. My most favorite scene is when I hunt with my dad. It was so much fun. Hopefully it translated that it was really emotional for both of them. Slowly. Oh, he's so damn smart. And that kid's on point all the time. He's just such a great kid your first kill, so I gotta blood you. You can see the strength in the bloodline he's between John Dutton and James. You can see the backbone that this family had and the tradition that started it, for sure. He took a life to give us life. So now we say thank you. Well, I think you're seeing personality traits in various characters that you see in characters in the present, but I don't want to point those out for you. I, I want you to find them for yourselves. I to double the ladder go with him. <clears throat> I've forgotten more about horses than you'll ever know, Margaret. She's not afraid of hard work, and I think she came from that. There's just a part of Margaret that feels like, I wish I could jump on a horse then just go. But things change, you know, life becomes different. She sees her mother in a different light. There's clearly a past that she's unaware of. She's a horseback rider, and that's everything that Elsa wants to be, and so she kind of starts to understand, my mother was something else in the past, and she gave that up. Maybe she gave that up for me. It's the first time she's seen her mother in a different light, which is really special, really beautiful. Ennis' intentions at this point are innocent and, and pure. All he wants to do is get this girl to like him as much as he likes her. There's something really sweet and kind about him. Look who's blushing now. You see, that made you blush? Maybe you made me blush. But it's also thrilling for her, because she has never been able to do this with a, with a young man, especially a cowboy, an uncivilized man. <laughs> You know, this fun thing is fun. Margaret feels like it's bound to happen. I'll shoot him first thing in the morning, honey. I got a little experience with dealing with boyfriends. You break her heart, you get handsy. You and me gonna have a problem. Define handsy. James does a pretty dang good job of reminding us that, you know, dude, careful. Joe. 
Hmm. Bad, bad time to tell it. Puts that fear of God in me. Camera set. Everything that's good about this journey, she gets to experience only that. She's a bystander to the pain and the despair. So it's a frightening thought that she'll ever be one of the individuals that has to suffer, because she has yet to.